So I initially wasn't going to report on this story because the whole thing about Nancy Pelosi getting her hair done just kind of felt like a boring topic. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized that we really do need to hold all of these Democrat politicians who are absolute hypocrites to account. And it, they, they seem to be they seem to live by the modus operandi that it's rules for thee, but not for me and do as I say, but not as I do. And they really feel like they rule over us and that we are their subjects. We are not subjects, Nancy Pelosi. We are citizens. And not only that, it, you know, her response to it, once I saw her response to it, I realized that I had to report on this because it is it is some of the most disgusting stuff ever. And it is so typical Nancy Pelosi. But this is, we really need to get this bitch out of office. She is, she is the wicked bitch of the West. That is who she is. So Na this is from the Daily Wire. <clears throat> Nancy Pelosi accuses Salon of setting her up, suggests she's owed an apology. Yes, you read that correctly. Now, let's get into the backstory of this a little bit. So, the nation's highest ranking elected Democrat refused to apologize on Wednesday afternoon for visiting a San Francisco hair salon in person in defiance of local coronavirus restrictions, opting instead to accuse the business of setting her up. Because, of course, she will not take responsibility for anything that she does. So, I just kind of want to, well, you know, let's, let's just listen to the audio of what she said during the press conference and they have it lower in this in this uh article but it was a whole four minute clip and i don't want to bore you guys with a four minute clip or actually subject you to the nails on a chalkboard voice of nancy pelosi so i'm just going to give you 30 seconds of that screeching weasel i take responsibility for trusting uh, the word of a neighborhood salon that i've been to over the years many times and that um uh, when they said, well, we're able to accommodate people one person at a time and that we can set up that time, I trusted that. As it turns out, it was a setup. So I take responsibility for falling for a setup. And that's all I'm going to say on that. She takes responsibility for falling for a setup. But of course, it wasn't her fault that she didn't know the, her own damn rules that she has been espousing in her city for the longest time or you know since coronavirus lockdown started it is always somebody else's fault which you know let's uh let's actually look at this other tweet before we get back to this daily wire article let's let's look at this from matt gates i think that they uh, that oh. Leaders take responsibility. So I said he's a weak leader. He doesn't take responsibility. He places blames blame on others. I think that they uh, that this salon owes me an apology for setting up. It was a setup. So leaders take responsibility. Well, guess what? Nobody has ever accused Nancy Pelosi of being a good leader. So I guess this is really just par for the course for Nancy Pelosi, right? Um. Let's go ahead and get back to this Daily Wire article. So she says, you know, I, I, you guys heard what she said here. So the nation's highest ranking elected Democrat refused to apologize on Wednesday afternoon for visiting a San Francisco hair salon in person in defiance of a local coronavirus restriction, opting instead to accuse the business of setting her up. The thing, the, the biggest thing about this is that she played dumb to the rules that she absolutely knew were in place. And then the whole setup idea doesn't make sense just because of the way that the salon works. So... You already heard what she said. Where, you know, um, you know, I take responsibility for trusting the word of a neighborhood salon that I've been to over the years many times. And that when they said, well, we're able to accommodate people one person at a time, that we can, um, that we can, set, that to, uh, we can set up that time. Ah, maybe that's where she got the set up at. So, so it wasn't that she was set up. It's just they just set up a time. I bet, I bet you if she gets cornered, she'll probably use some weasel words like that to try to get out of it. So she says she trusted that. As it turns out, I, it was a setup. So I take responsibility for falling for a setup. Okay. Well, if you got duped by a hair salon owner, by a hairstylist, maybe you shouldn't be in charge of overseeing the House of Representatives. Maybe that kind of disqualifies you if you are that damn gullible, Nancy Pelosi. So... During the press conference, Pelosi also explicitly declined to give the salon an apology, uh, saying, I think that they, this salon, owes me an apology for, for setting up. You're missing a word in there, for setting up. I, oh, maybe that's how she's going to weasel out of it, for, for setting up. Just leaves off the word, the appointment.
You know, not setting her up. Yeah, actually, you know, I'm giving her too much credit. I don't think she's that slick. I mean, she's too much of a she's too much of a drunk to be to be that sharp. So, <laughs> um, Pelosi also cut off a reporter mid question when he seemingly started to ask whether she reached out to her hit to the hair salon, asking the group of reporters instead whether they had any questions about the fact that people are dying. Of course, of course, because <laughs> she had to deflect and she had to do it in such melodramatic fashion. These Democrat politicians need to realize that we can see through their games. They're not slick. They're just not good at this. They're not good at being lying, deceiving cunts. It's... So, yeah, that's that's the whole video. Um, you know, I didn't want to subject you, like I said, to four minutes and ten seconds of Nancy Pelosi lying to you. You got the gist of it already. But Pelosi's remarks come after Erica Key... Uh, Kios, the owner of e-salon, which rents out spaces at ind uh, to independent stylists, blasted her on Fox News for flouting the local restrictions. And so that's why the whole setup thing doesn't really doesn't really pan out. Because she's first of all, she's saying that she's been going to the salon for forever. And what they what these how these salons work is the owner. You know, you go to the salon. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have a relationship with the owner. It means you have a relationship with a stylist. And so apparently she's been going there for forever, so she probably knows this stylist. I don't think that they had any motivation to set her up. I just don't think they realized that the owner, the one who was renting out the space, was going to see that and be like, what the hell? And so, um, you know, Eric, Erica Kius said, I don't know how to say that name, Kius? Kius? Um, it was a slap in the face that she went in, you know, that she feels she can just go in and get her stuff done while no one else can go in and I can't work. Kios told Fox News, "We're supposed to be looking. We're supposed to look up to this woman, right? It's just that disturbing." And so we have the leaked video of Nancy Pelosi in the um, in the salon here. And so you can see she's she's going to be coming out of the this door here. I'm actually kind of surprised she didn't trip over that her, with her drug gas. And of course, she's not wearing a mask either. So the how many times are we going to see these Democrat politicians? flouting their own rules. We saw Mayor La uh, Mayor uh, Lori Lightfoot in Chicago. She was out there talking about, you know, you don't need a haircut. And that, that became a thing for a long time that people um, people on the left were saying the right just wanted to get a haircut, that that was all it was about. Meanwhile, Lori Lightfoot went out and got a haircut and she actually said, well, I have to be on TV, so I need to get a haircut. First of all, Lori Lightfoot, you look like black Beetlejuice. A haircut's not going to make you look any better. Second of all, it's funny, isn't it, how the trend of their hypocrisy all happens to come back to them getting haircuts. They're the ones who want the damn haircuts. <laughs> I mean, you can't, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, the, the, the Democrats are so inept. I mean, they're, there's such thing as an evil genius. The Democrats are not that. They are evil idiots. They are completely moronic. I think they could be outsmarted by by a, a, a an average intelligence chimpanzee. So reacting to the salon debacle on Wednesday morning, President Donald Trump tweeted, Crazy Nancy Pelosi, crazy Nancy Pelosi is being decimated for having a beauty parlor open while all others are closed and for not wearing a mask, despite constantly lecturing everyone else. We will almost certainly take back the house and send Nancy packing. Please, dear Lord, let that happen. We cannot keep Nancy Pelosi as leader of the house. And I mean, I, what, I think it's like 18 seats that we would need to win back. I mean, I, I guess it's doable. I don't really know what seats are up in what districts, so I, I haven't really looked too much into the house rates, uh, house races. All I know is that wherever you are, you just need to uh, check R net, just straight down the line. It's like you don't even need to do your research at this point. You just need to know that if they have a D next to their name, they're the last person you want in office. You know, it's they're the last person you want in office, and it's we, we're seeing that. You know, the, these Democrats, all of their cities are just absolutely in tatters. And they're there living like kings. Kings and queens. I mean, we see Mayor Bill de Blasio. We, you know, we got P. 
people people moving out of New York City in mass. I believe it's over 450,000 people have fled New York City and violent crime has been skyrocketing. Police have excuse me, police have been quitting in mass. And he goes and, and paints Black Lives Matter in the streets without a permit. So he skips the whole permitting process, takes it upon himself to put a political message on the streets, turning the streets into a billboard for his political ideology. And then as all of the all of the property oh yeah oh yeah he hold on let's let, before i go even further then he actually while all of this violent crime is skyrocketing he puts i think 28 cops there to protect his painting in the street his street mural great allocation of resources <clears throat> he's also got his wife who's got like a, a 2 million dollar staff she's she they're paying the city's paying 2 million dollars to keep her his wife staffed Yet they're laying off people and furloughing people all over the city. And then, as people flee the city and property values plummet, what does he do? He goes and buys up property. I mean, Bill de Blasio is the villain from, from RoboCop. And he's a, he's a fucking communist. He, he actually went and, and spent time down in Nicaragua and, and was fawning over Ortega down there. And, and that's, that is the rule of communism. It's capitalism for me, but slavery for thee. And that's what they're trying to bring to America here. And you can see how flagrantly they just flout all of the rules because they don't think anything actually applies to them while everybody else is suffering. I know it, I don't think it's in this article, but in another another source that I don't have open right now, the same Erica Erica Kiaus woman says that, you know, she can't work. And she she's a single mother. She can't put food on the table. She has no income. Yet Nancy Pelosi is perfectly willing to keep her salon shut down so long as she's able to go into it, you know, on call. I would be pissed off if I was Erica too. Something's got to be done about these Democrats, and I think it needs to be drastic. In fact, I don't think the Democrat Party should exist anymore. The only thing that worries me about you know, imploding the Democrat Party is that they're going to scatter like the rats they are, like the cockroaches they are, and then they're going to go into the woodwork and you're not going to know where they are anymore. At least if they're all conjoined into one party, we can beat them down in the polls. So I don't know, but something has to be done. And you know, they're sitting here with all this cancel culture. They, they want to they wanna cancel all of the monuments. They, they're talking about, can't, the, about destroy, taking down the Washington Monument and the, or, and the Jefferson Monument. Meanwhile, they're not talking about abolishing the Democrat Party, even though the Democrat Party was the party of slavery, was the party of Jim Crow, was the party of the KKK. But of course, you can't hold a mirror up to them. Of course, you wouldn't see, they wouldn't see a reflection anyway, because they're fucking vampires. So according, according to Fox News, Pelosi visited the hair salon on Monday afternoon to receive a wash and blow dry after an assistant for the speaker allegedly reached out to a stylist who rinsed chairs at the business, or, uh, or rinse a chair at the business. Pelosi was not wearing a mask, but in the footage appeared to have one around her neck. Yeah, she wasn't even wearing a mask. So, you know, they, they don't care about you. They don't care about you. They never will. What they do is they go into these cities, they extract the resources, they, they siphon off whatever they can, and then they move on to other places. That's why we're seeing Texas, you know, once, it, once a red bastion is going completely blue. In fact, California used to be a red bastion. It used to be, it used to be solid red. California still has more Republicans than any other state in the nation. So I hope that, that California Republicans come out in mass, all the people in the Central Valley, all the people away from the coast. California is basically a deep red state once you get away from the coastline. So once you get away from the coastline, we need to get all of the people that are that are Republicans in California out to the polls and just check R down the line. And we need to get rid of all of these Democrats. I don't know if you've seen the uh, a couple videos that I posted over the last couple days, and it's all this one guy, this, this Scott Weiner who is the same guy who pushed the bill to decriminalize the, the willing the knowing transmission of HIV decriminalized it and he is he's now pushing for um, reducing or softening the sex offender registry for gay people who sodomize children and he's also looking to let men choose to be women but at their sentencing so that they can go to women's prisons oh gee i wonder how that's going to work out 
They're, they're gonna, they, you know, they have, they have fucking poop maps in San Francisco. The whole, the whole state is brown, or the whole city is brown, because it's too expensive. They, they have extracted the wealth and they have grinded the middle class. The, just like Vladimir Lenin said, the way to grind the bourgeoisie out of existence is to grind them between the millstones of taxation and inflation. And that is exactly what they've done in San Francisco. And then everybody flees, and they go to places like Texas, they go to places like Arizona, they go to places like Utah, and they bring their damn blue politics with them. That is why leftism, liberalism, is a cancer that spreads. And it is metastasized in our culture. And we must excise it. By force if we have to. Or there will be no Mer no America anymore. I mean, this this disgusting, wretched, a wretched, wicked woman. I want to know how she's made their. What 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 are the Pelosi's worth? Like hundred, two hundred million dollars. I want to know how they made that money. I know a lot of it came from China. So, she needs to be looked into. You know, Do Donald Trump had, uh, signed an executive order that would essentially allow them to confiscate all of the assets and resources of people who are found guilty of human rights abuses and corruption. I'm really hoping that we see that executive order put into effect and that all of these people like Nancy Pelosi, oh, you're worth $200 million? Here, we'll leave you with a, we'll leave you a two bucks for bus fare. But after that, you're on the streets, bitch. Anyways, that's the video. Also, guys, I don't even notice I'm not wearing a Black Lives Matter shirt. I'm wearing a Black Lives Matter shirt. Uh, you know, trying to correct the narrative for all of the lies that are told to the black community that keep them oppressed and that are also flaming, uh, you know, fanning the flames of all of the Black Lives Matter communist Marxist riots and protests and all that nonsense. Um, I am selling this shirt, so there's a link in the description to my Teespring store. So if you want to get one of these, wear it out to a pro-Trump rally. Piss off, uh, piss off any anti-protesters. They're gonna think they're gonna think you're on their side at first, and then they're gonna take a closer look. They're gonna do a double take, and then it's it's gonna be hilarious. Um, so, anyways, there's a link to to get this shirt if you want to wear it. It's it's a good joke. But anyways, um, also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Parlor at Ram Thorburn. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, if you'd like to toss me a few bucks to help keep this channel going, I'm trying to bring you guys as much content as I possibly can. But, you know, until I'm able to quit my full-time job, I'm going to be limited in what I can bring you guys. So I got links to my Subscribestar, Patreon, and PayPal down in the description below. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.